Baller. Yeah, um, you know, <laughs> it's kind of, it's not, it's not funny. It's kind of cool because me and me and Nick and uh, long story short, Grant Tag and Nick did a Murph uh, from Mike Murphy, the Navy Seal, during our bye week, and it's just kind of been a running um, thing that they always talk about about never being out of the fight. It's kind of what we were saying and preaching on the sideline: never out of the fight, chop wood, carry water, and that's what we've been doing the past couple weeks with as a team. Um, you know, it's a it's a rough situation that we've been in, obviously. Um, but coming out and fighting like we did, fighting like we always do, um, you know, getting that, never being out of the fight. So um, super proud of those guys, super proud of these coaches, um, never giving up on us. Um, it's, yeah, it's, just, it's awesome. Why do you think it was different the way that you guys played defense? <laughs> uh, I think a lot of, just with the cohesiveness of what we've been doing and kind of getting everybody on the same page of what, what we're doing with just fits or just mentality-wise of what we want or what we are as a defense and finally realizing that. And, uh, you know, obviously it was a great win, um, show what we can do, and now we just got to carry that over in the, the coming weeks. Pretty sweet, pretty sweet. It's always fun when we get a win, you know, highest highs, especially for football. But um, you know, can't ride that roller coaster and go all the way up and all the all the way down. Just being a steady drum beat um, as a, as a leader, as a captain, um, you know, celebrating this is awesome. But obviously, want more of these, but um, can't get, get too high, can't get too low. Just keep pounding. Uh, just the same thing we've been saying. Um, it's going to be a fight. I mean, it's a Big Ten football game. It's going to be 60 minutes of, of fight and never being out of it. You know, always got to do your job. Go out there and focus on what we're doing and focusing on that series, that play, um, while you're in the moment. And uh, nothing, uh, just n no, I guess, major adjustments, but just reiterating what, we, reiterating what we've been doing. It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. I mean, I love Mickey. I'm gonna ride with him. He's, 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 he's been put in a rough situation. He's been um, absolutely for, flourishing in that spot and caring, taking care of us and making sure we're all right mentally and physically. Um, bringing the mentality, bringing the energy, understanding, you know, in this spot, he, uh, he's he's maximizing his spot right now, which is which is phenomenal. And um, I love him. I love him to death. I, even before he was a head coach, I love him to death. And I can't thank him enough for um, the guy he is and the coach he is. And, you know, like I said, sticking with us and, our, and my teammates um, and sticking together and, you know, getting through this rough patch. What's different for you guys with Bill as the defensive coordinator now? Uh, obviously, with, you know, new faces or just new calls, um, things like that. But, I, you know, I, I, would, I would give a lot of the um, – a lot of the praise to him because obviously he was the same kind of situation with uh, Mickey, you know, was brought in here for a different spot, got a bigger spot and bigger responsibilities and flourishing in that role, doing really well, doing doing a really good job. And um, But, you know, I, I give it up for my teammates just sticking with us and um, sticking with each other and, you know, sticking with me as a as a captain, as a, as a player. Uh, just some just new defenses, new calls. Um, you know, there's not, nothing revolutionary or world, you know, bending. But um, just getting guys in the right spot and teaching and coaching and finally kind of understanding the whole concept. He's pretty sweet. He's got really long arms. <laughs> uh, no, I, I told him. I'd, I, I Hopefully I'd catch him again. Um, I told him. I think when the, uh, the offense had the ball and we were just running out the clock first downs, I hugged him and I told him how proud I am. Um, you know, he did a lot better job as a freshman than I did. So uh, especially being an out, out on an island as a corner like that, he, he did phenomenal and told him I was super proud of him, stepping up, doing his job. Yeah, no, that's going to have to give him a big hug. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, 
I was going to say how much time you got. <laughs> it's, uh, oh, man, um, it's been a lot. Uh, honestly, it's been a lot, a lot of, you know, I'm, I'm for all of us, um, not just me, um, you know, like another long story short, you know, the guys, a lot of, like 30 dudes live on one block together and we're all really, really close. And, um, for years we've been, you know, in the summer in the backyard or whenever we just talked about how much, how badly we want to win and be a good football team. And, um, Pro- progress this program and you know how much it means to us not even just those you know guys on that block but just everybody on the team and um you know what what has happened in in our careers um is uh you know nothing short of rough but like i said these guys have believed in each other believed in me um helped talked um you know some some uncomfortable talks or some some feeling talks but um helped each other out mentally um coming and showing up, showing up to work every day. Um, nothing in the sense of nothing changing, you know, they're still playing their ass off, doing everything that we asked them to do. And like I said, sticking together. So, um, it's been a lot, uh, it's discovering a lot about myself and about ourselves. So what, what do you see is out there for you guys over these next seven years? Well, that was the beginning of the, the beginning of the big 10, wasn't it? That was conference play. So, uh, now we got seven more games seven more games so you know next stop sign it's in Piscataway so see you up there (laughs) appreciate you guys